Hi, and welcome to the series of questions being addressed to all you aspiring entrepreneurs who would like to launch your own clothing boutique business. Today's question is about, do I need to be full-time at my business? Do I have to manage full-time the boutique business? Now, this is a very subjective question. It is subjective for a few reasons. The first thing is, we need to understand as to what is the kind of scale of business that you want to um, have for your boutique. This is a question only you can address. Secondly, what is the kind of investment you want to put in this organization? Then comes uh, what is the kind of geography you want to cover? And most importantly, the number of resources you want to hire for this business. Now, if you are looking at starting this business from the comfort of your home and you're starting at a small scale, for this moment, you will be able to manage it on your own and be able to also manage maybe other areas of uh, business or even if you're in a full-time job because you're starting at a very small scale. But having said that, if you are looking at scaling up your business and reaching out to a lot more people, then it is very important that you have a team in place to manage the business. If it is at a micro scale, then I think you can manage both the business. And even if you're on a full time job, you will be able to manage it. But if you're looking at making it like a small or a medium enterprise business, then it is very important that you have a team in place. Because even if you're available full time, it can be difficult to actually manage every area of your organization. Because getting sales itself is a full-time job. It's a completely full-time job. I, for three years, was doing this completely and managing my business. I only focus in my business on sales, marketing, and the strategy for the organization. Of course, the finance and all of that does come in, but you have an accountant in place, you have your chartered accountants, all of that is taken care. The next very important area in your business is your operations. And if you decide that you want to take charge of the operations, then please do, because it's a very important uh, part of your business. You will be able to monitor the amount of production that is done on a daily basis and meet your production target. But if you take up the production portfolio, then remember, you need to hire somebody for sales because managing both these heavyweight portfolios is going to be a huge challenge. You may not be able to balance it, even if you are a small or a medium-sized enterprise, because there's so much that goes in. One, when you deal with customers, you need to make sure you are uh, giving them the right information. You have all the data information of your, <coughs> sorry, your customer, which is recorded and kept in your systems. Nextly, you need to work on the marketing initiatives that you would take and all that goes to make this marketing um, campaign a successful one. For instance, the products uh, that you sell, maybe the pictures that are required, a lot of you know social media presence that is required um, to showcase these pictures and you being available as a face of the brand uh, on the social media platform. So there are many factors that get involved. I, like I said, I manage only the sales, the marketing, the um, strategy of the organization and make sure that I bring in enough business for my organization. So it is a very subjective question. And if you have a team in place, then I can tell you that you can manage um, multiple businesses or multiple different portfolios um, in other areas of business. So look at how you want to scale up your business what is it that you are planning for your business in terms of what is the revenue you're looking in the first year? What are the number of you know, uh, resources, the infrastructure, so on and so forth that you need for your organization? And last but not the least, will you be able to spend ample time with your customers? All of this only you can answer. So if you want to um, start your boutique business, Please do plan out these details before you commit yourself to starting your own boutique business. I do hope this helps and I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, as always, my request to please subscribe to this channel. 
I also provide a free one-to-one 30 minutes call to give you more clarity on how you can launch your boutique business. I so look forward to hear from you and do send in your questions. I'll be happy to address them. Thank you and bye-bye.